Hello, welcome to my channel, another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg, and I am here to do a book haul. And I've bought quite a number of more books since um, I finished my 100 book challenge. Now, I'm not going to present these books in the order they were purchased in. I am roughly putting them in groups of um, how I purchased them. And the first group is all the fault of Miss Reads A Lot because she put a link in one of her videos where you could join Thrift Books. And if I bought $30 worth of books, I got a free book and she got a free book. And I did that because I kind of want to support her channel since none of us are getting paid and a free book is a, a pretty good way to support your fellow booktubers. But Thrift Books needs to be renamed book crack because um i'm buying those book like a i'm a, a crack addict on books so what have i bought from thrift books first the cat from hugh by john lawrence um this is a book that was recommended to me by a friend um i don't remember why she recommended this book other than she thought it was a really good book so um when I first, when she first recommended this to me, um, I looked on Amazon and it was on sale on Kindle for $1.99, but I couldn't buy it because of my 100 book challenge. That's right in the middle of that. So I had to put it on my wish list and it eventually went up to like $12.99 on Kindle. But I got this for $5 on Thrift Books. And this is a fairly decent hardcover a little dusty on the sides, but I can live with that. Next, Outbreach Ridge by Robert Stone. Um, when I purchased this on Thrift Book, it says condition like new hardcover. Now, this is not a hardcover. This, why not terrible? is not like new. So um, I've been warned that thrift books sometimes exaggerates the quality of its books. And yeah, they exaggerated, but it's not a bad book for $4.69. In the eye of the world, my Tasha Martin, this is a work of nonfiction. This is the story of a woman who was mauled by a bear. And it's the story of her recovery after that mauling. Um, I can't remember where I learned of this book, but um, I needed to fill out my cart at um, Thrift Books and I thought this would be a good way to fill it out. The Chase by Alejo Carpenter. This is a book translated from the Spanish. Um, it came highly recommended by Jack, the Rambling Raconteur. Um, this book is unfortunately out of print, so you can only get it used, but this is a fairly decent copy. A little bent back there. Um, and this is essentially the story of a man who goes into a symphony hall, I believe, and uh, he's probably a spy or something, and he gets... Um, chased. Um, I don't remember much, but other than uh, we're talking to it by the, the Jack and um, came highly recommended. I do have one of his other most famous books, Explosion in the Cathedral. I've never read it because that book is a translation from the French and the book was originally written in Spanish. So it's a translation of a translation, but this one is a direct translation from the Spanish. So that should be excellent. The Clowns of God by Morris West. Um, this is a book that came highly recommended from another booktuber. Unfortunately, I don't remember which booktuber recommended it. Um, but if you see this, know that your recommendation has been taken to heart and I have purchased this book. And um, as I understand this, this is the story of the Pope who gets a divine revelation from God of some sort, and um, it may not be everything that people expect it to be. B. 
Beat to Quarters by C.S. Forrester. This is a book in the Hornblower series. Um, I was over at a neighbor's house, we are talking about books, and he showed me his Hornblower collection. And um, I believe he has the Heritage Press editions, those fine hardcovers, and he was very proud of his books. Now, I have never read Hornblower before, so I decided I was gonna give him a shot. Now, the big question and when reading this series is, do you read them in chronological order or publication order? Um, I've been looking over the internet and there's lots of people going back and forth saying what's the best way to read them. Um, this is the first book published. So I, I've decided to go with publication order. Um, the thing is, is they, they say it, it stands out to the reader that he changed things over time. And I think publication order is just fine. Pavilion of William, Pavilion of Women by Pearl S. Buck. Um, there is a book group in my neighborhood, and this is the book that they are going to be reading for next month. So um, I just picked it up. I have actually never read Pearl S. Buck. Um, she has the very famous The Good Earth. She won the Nobel Prize in Literature. Um, and this is a book about women in China. I'm pretty much sure that almost all of Pearl S. Buck's books are about China because uh, she, she grew up in China. So I'm looking forward to that one. Came a Spider by, what's his name? Um, Edward Levy. This is an horror novel from, I think, the late 70s, maybe early 80s. It's about spiders. And um, I love books about killer animals, so um, I had to pick it up. And usually this book is hard to find, but they had a, a copy. And this is a fairly decent copy for a book that old. And it was less than $5, so um, you have to pick up books about killer spiders. And that is my thrift book haul. Okay, not really, because... Um, I have more books on order because <laughs> um, it's book crack and I can't say no to books. So now on to the non-purchases for purchases other than um, thrift books. As people know, I am participating on June on the range and I went to a used bookstore to pick up a lot of uh, Western paperbacks. I picked up 13 for $14. Now, I'm not going to show all the ones that I bought because um, a lot of those are slated for giveaways. But I will show you the books that I am keeping. One is The Quick and the Dead by Louis L'Amour. I really don't know anything about the story. Um, this just looked like one of the best Louis L'Amours um, that was available at the used bookshop. Now here's another Western. This is Lone Star on the Treachery on the Treachery Trail by Wesley Ellis. Now, as I understand this, this is a naughty Western where um, the character gets laid a lot. Um, it is sometimes listed as an adult Western um, on Amazon. And this is not being read for June on the Range. I am probably going to save this for Garbogast. Another in the naughty Western category is The Gunsmith, New Orleans Fire. Now, you know this guy is all over that lady, so it's gonna be um, lots of naughty sex in the book. Um, this is the 10th book in the series. I don't think it matters what order you read them in. Um, this is another candidate for Garbogast. a random buy at a used bookstore. Um, this is The Nameless by Ramsey Campbell. It is a horror novel from the 1981. Um, I have read some Ramsey Campbell before and liked him. I've never read a full-length novel by his, but um, why not pick it up at a used bookstore? Now here are some thrift books that I found. Six books, four dollars. 
you will see that um, Criminali has influenced me, um, getting me to buy some Ed McBain from his um, 87th Precinct series that he goes on a lot about how good it is. Now, I have read some of the earlier 87 Precinct novels 20 years ago, um, but I didn't continue with them. But I, I thought I would give another shot. So we have like, like Love, we have Killer's Choice, and Doll. And like I said, they were so cheap at the thrift store, why not buy them? I also picked up three books by Ruth Randell. Um, the Secret House of Death, Master of the Moor, and The Killing Doll. Now, I was not paying too much attention because they had some other Ruth Randell books, but, but I like these black covers. They look pretty slick. And um, I've actually read the, the, the Killing Doll before. So um, in some future giveaway, this book is almost certainly going to hit the mail. Some other book duper, but you'll just see. And these other two, I don't know. I'll get to them someday. You know, if I find the secret of immortality or internal youth, I'll get to them. I wouldn't bet the farm on it, you know, getting eternal youth or immortality. But I might bet someone else's farm. That would be rather bad if they wouldn't it. Also, at the thrift store, I picked up The Serpent by Jane Gaskell. I have no idea what this book is. It is a, a book that's obviously very old. It does not look like it has ever been read. It is supposedly a fantasy, maybe a science fiction. Um, the author says it's translated from a language in Central America. I know that's horse crap. She's making it up. But it was written in 1966. And um, it's kind of a cool old book. Maybe, maybe someday. And now this is not from a thrift store. This is a gift from Criminali. This is um, one of his favorite books that he read for his um, 100 book challenge. Uh, you know, by Shane Stevens. Um, and when he reviewed that, I was in the middle of my um, 100 book challenge and couldn't buy a copy. There was a copy on eBay for less than $5, but I had to pass. Um, but once that challenge was over, I decided I wanted to buy it. And the, the cheapest copy on eBay was 60 bucks. And I decided I'm not going to spend 60 bucks on this book. But Criminali had an extra copy and he sent it to me. And thank you, Ollie. I really appreciate that. Um, and I'm going to read this. And once I finally read this, I'm going to pass it on to someone else. So it'll be a gift that keeps on giving. It'll be like another cursed book passing on maybe from booktuber to booktuber. So um, that's an event maybe in the future, hopefully sometime this year. And now, onto my Amazon purchases. I know a lot of people are not fond of buying books from Amazon. Um, I don't really have that much of a problem with it. This is The Other Name by John Fossey. This is a work in translation. It's getting a lot of critical praise. Um, it is also the first of um, four volumes. Now, as I understand it, this is like, uh, he was originally published in multiple volumes, yeah. Originally published in two volumes, and this is a translation from the Dutch or the Danish. I can't remember which one. Um, and uh, take a look. He, he he writes in very long paragraphs. Um, it looks like one. No, he has sentences and comments, but yeah, it's should be very good. And this book finally came in. This is Mouse by Art Spiegelman. Um, I wanted to do this for uh, banned books, um, but, you know, maybe I still will, but I think there's going to be a buddy read of Mouse um, in December with uh, Alan at Big Hard Books and Classics and maybe Tom at LA Books. 
another another person, Alan mentioned, also wants to read it. So I'm probably going to hold off reading these mouse books until um, we decide on what to do for that um, buddy read. And it does not want to go back in the box. And now for the piece, The Resistance, my favorite book that I purchased recently. And this is a book that I really wanted to buy when I had my 100 book challenge and it was on sale and I couldn't do it. It was a really expensive book, but I had to pass. And that is the boxed set of the Library of America of Kurt Vonnegut. And this is just a gorgeous set of books. And it's something technically I probably didn't need to buy because I have most of Kurt Vonnegut's works on ebooks. But ebooks are not as nice as this. This is just, how can I say, such a lovely addition to have on my shelf. So that are that are the books that I have bought. And again, I like said I have more books coming in the mail. So thank you for watching. Have a good day. And goodbye.